Hi everybody, it's Charlie here and this is the card we're going to be making today. It's just a, a very simple card. And um, first, again, I'm going to make a standard size note card of four and a quarter by five and a half out of some Nina Solo White card stuff. And it, making a note card, I have it as a way as I make two at once. I basically take the card stock, fold it in half using my score my scoreboard, my trimmer even, as to butt up the edges so I know it's going to be folded exactly in half. And then I take that piece and I just trim trim it at four and a quarter and that gives me two note cards that I can then use the other one on a, a another project but the other one is a tiny bit smaller but that that doesn't bother me much because I normally use them on personal products for like people that I'm going to be giving them personally and so that just it's a little way of me getting more from my cardstock than wasting that extra bit now I've got the um, crafters companion cardstock in the colour color mink and I'm just going to be trimming that down to I've trimmed that down to one and a half by five and a half inches and that's going to be going on the base of my card Now I've got a paper pack that's called The Language of Flowers. It's a, a 20 page little pack of their... I can't remember the, the brand name or anything like that will be on the um, video subtitles. But they're all flowery, like summery sort of designs and I'm just going to be trimming that down to... It's three and a half by five and a half I think. I can't remember exactly the measurements are on the um, on the video. Okay I'm now just taking some Nina Solo white cardstock and I'm going to be using my Martha Stewart cutting circle and it's just to basically a device where you can cut any size circle from I'm not sure the first size but it, it goes all the way up to five inches so you can get a circle up to five inches wide here I'm going to be using I think it's one and three quarters I think I think it is there you go yeah there you go I'm showing you just under my finger I will point it out in a second there you go <laughs> one and three quarters and you basically what you do is you take your the thing you want to cut a circle from and you place this over it and you will need to tape it down obviously because you, if it moves the circle will be like it won't be correct at all so you do tape it down but obviously like I just noticed there you need a cutting board because <laughs> it is going to be cutting so there will be damage to the surface if you don't have one down but basically to use it you place it over the card you want to be cutting and find the little notch that you want so I was using the one and three quarters push that cutting tool into it and then just spin so a little disc inside will spin um, and that will cut the, the paper for you in that size of circle and then you just take that little blade out, pop it into the bottom of the cutting cutting blade and that's safe then to be stored away and you won't risk getting your fingers cut or anything like that. And there you go, my little circle sanding. <laughs> now I've got the Enchanted Garden, I think it's called. Again, uh, all names are in, in the video. The Enchanted Garden stamp set and I'm taking the little Magic Happens stamp um, which I'll, I will point to sure, well, there you go, I lost my acetate <laughs> acetate sheet there 
there you go, magic happens stamp. And um, I am going to be embossing this onto the piece, the little, the little circle I just cut. So I will um, use my anti-static tool, remember, the e it's from EKXS that one is. Just swipe that over the circle. Um, I will be using the, it's the Versafine Black Onyx because I will be clear embossing this because it's such a small image. If I tried to use black embossing powder, it's, it's one of them you can't be certain it's going to come out perfect. So you just take this verse mark, which is, it stays wetter, and you stamp it, you get the, the black image. And then you just put clear embossing powder over it, and it gives the effect of an embossed image which will look cleaner and it just looks neater compared to if you have used black embossing and it's just it gives such a more a crisp crisper image but you still get that effect of embossing which is quite handy with smaller images like this oh and by the way that embossing powder I'm using just then that was the the wow clear embossing powder it's just a clear clear one and I'll just show you there I right? just to clean my stamps off I just take a baby wipe and I just wipe them off and then put them aside to dry before I put them back on the actual stamp to so the stamp block thing the storage there you go, it's just a nice little picture of what, what that looks like, that little circle. <laughs> now I'm taking my, just got my tape runner out and I'm taking them two pieces of cardstock I cut originally. And I'm just going to be placing them on the card to line them up where I want them because I want like a, a white rim on the edges you can see and I'm making sure they're all perfect I do set there for quite a while this is sped up so <laughs> um, now I'm just going to take my tape runner and run it along each side of the um, pieces of cardstock and then placing them down lining it up with that top one just to make sure that it's in the position that I want it to be and I'm going to do the exact same with the top piece of pattern paper <laughs> And just line that up and then that's it. They're stuck down. Give it a, a little bit of a press to keep it down. That first got to cut off of them edges. Wasn't perfect with them. <laughs> I'm just basically taking my scissors and I just basically trim off what I see on the edge. And that, that's the base of the card. Now I'm just going to be taking some ribbon. I, I did have a, a choice. I, I thought, should I use this? The one I'm using on the actual card. Or I had this purple with a gold trim. I thought, should I use that? But I decided to use this one instead. Because I thought it, it looked, looked nicer. <laughs> and I've got my um, my glue dots. Ooh, sorry about that. <laughs> I've, um, I'm just taking one. And putting it where I want the ribbon to be to start with and just squish it down <laughs> and pull it off and I then will place the ribbon onto that that glue dot so it stays there and it will not not come off. Oh, I lost my ribbon <laughs> and I'll just drag it down to the bottom. I'll place another glue dot at the bottom. Oh wait, no, I don't. <laughs> I use my tape runner and I just do a line, pull it down and there you go, ribbon secured onto the front. But obviously you've got the issue of the back, so I'll place another glue dot on the back. Um, pull that little tiny bit of ribbon you see at the top, place that down, another, another line of glue runner, pull it up. And then the top bit that's dangling, another glue dot, do the same, basic. 
um, <laughs> the process there. I don't think you need to, meet, to explain that too much. <laughs> and then just, just trim the ribbon and that's the ribbon bit done. I'm now taking the um, foam tape that I used in the last video. Again, I still do not know the name of this, um, but I'm running extremely low as you can see on the video. Um, <laughs> and luckily, I, I do have some more because I, I buy quite a few in bulk because I know how much I use them. <laughs> and I'm literally just going to take that little circle and place it over that ribbon. And that, that's it. Simply, that's it. The card is finished apart from. I'm just going to take, oh no, wrong, I do put some gems on, <laughs> um, just got these little tiny flower rhinestones, again these rhinestones were from the store Poundland in the UK, I'm not sure if, I think in America it's the dollar store, I think you have something similar, but yeah I'm just going to be placing them on the card with my quick stick tool from We Are Memory Keepers, and I just place them roughly where I want them so I, I can know where I'm having them and then I'll just take my Ranger um, multi matte medium and just add a dab, oh, I have a little accident there with the, the glue and the tweezers <laughs> all of us have little boo-boos like that and I basically just add the glue and then add the rhinestone on you you don't need much of this glue for it to hold them which is it's quite good because you're not using loads for little rhinestones which is it's quite ha handy <laughs> especially you know money wise and all of that and then I'm now just going to be taking my wink of Stella brush pen glitter brush pen and just going over the butterfly I've got the clear one here and it's basically just gives a nice shimmer onto the butterfly and it's it's not an overpowering shimmer it's just a subtle like, like glimmer in certain lights and I just take my I, glossy accents from Ranger <laughs> and go over the butterfly to create a little make it look like a little embellishment and just make it stand out from the words and I just showed you that it's, it goes on cloudy but it does dry clear and it's like a dome effect it's really nice on, on the card you can't see it much in this video but it is really nice in person and I just take my, uh, my corner jumper on the half inch setting again which is my favourite setting as <laughs> you'll probably find out and that's it done there's the card I hope you enjoyed watching this it was very fun to make you got my thumb in the picture <laughs> and thank you thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe bye <laughs>